What's going on, everybody? What it do? What it do? It is your boy, the Wolf of Crypto here. Y'all tuned in to another episode of the Crypto Millionaire Journey here, folks. Um, on today's show, today's episode, we're going to be diving in, talking about We Are The Walrus, a particular NFT project that is, yeah, you guessed it, on the Solana blockchain. Um, I got some big things happening, like the community, um, like the tokenomics behind the token as well, or I should say behind just the whole project. Uh, they do got some upcoming developments coming soon. Um, I know they got a game. But before we dive on in and talk about We Are the Walrus, Arf, 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 uh, today's episode is actually going to be sponsored by the boys over there at ZooChain.com. If you guys are looking to create your own NFT collection, but might not want to spend too much, might be on a budget, uh, check out ZooChain.com. You guys will be able to create some NFTs only paying $250 in Bitcoin. Uh, some of the advantages of this is they do all the code for you. So all you do is focus on the art. So you can create a ton of NFT collections. Um, you got unlimited NFTs, so you can generate thousands or millions just depending on you. You got rarity settings, uh, analyzing tools, mad data files, and then obviously it's kind of easy to use. And guess what? They are compatible with the Ethereum blockchain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you will be able to increase your collection value using the rarity analytics. Um, but yeah, so check out zootchain.com. Like I said, I'll leave a link and all that stuff. But without further ado, let's talk about We Are The Walrus. Uh, actually came across this project from a buddy of mine in one of these Telegram groups. Uh, ever since then, it's been really followed up, trying to you know, check in with their AMAs. Get up to date what's going on with the project the development as far as we are the walrus um it's very simple it's an empty collection like i said on the solana blockchain and if you couldn't guess already they are they're walruses mts right but let's take it back right uh so the collection started off at 8989 walrus nfts that were minted on december 4th obviously they were sold out so now you gotta just buy them off of secondary markets um, and the floor price has been, uh, I would say fluctuating. I think the, as of recently, if I can go ahead and bring this on up, I know the recent floor price was at like, uh, I think like 1.26, if I'm not mistaken, I'm about to bring it up right now so I can give you guys an actual accurate number. Uh, cause this, I mean, like I said, they got a couple of mechanisms that are intertwined in their system that have them come and kind of sweep the floor so yeah right now it's still again the floor is at about 1.24 uh so these guys have been going up obviously i was trying to buy under one uh actually got a couple uh but now as you can see the the floor price is pretty much at 1.24 curious to see how this will go because they do have like i said some interesting ways of getting rid of the rollers as well um, so phase one, which is still currently the phase that we're still in right now. Um, what we have here is you got a guaranteed life membership into the exclusive herd. But this thing is there's a the Walrus game, right? Now, this Walrus game here, folks, this is I think this is going to be a key right here to see how. Uh, What's it called? People have either diamond hands or do they have paper hands? Because this game, which is the Become a Legend game, and, um, whew, oh man. This right here, this is where I think where the status of all these walruses that we have right now currently in the circulation, those numbers will start to dwindle down. Why? Because of this game. It's very easy, it's very simple. So, you can put up any Walrus NFT as a payment of, for your chance to win one of the legendary NFTs. So for each Walrus you bet, you get five spins. Each spin gives you a one in chance of winning of a legendary, yeah, legendary Walrus. And some of these legendary Walruses look pretty insane. I'm not going to cap to y'all. Uh, they looks like they still haven't released uh, Legendary 1 quite yet, but you can check out Legendary 2, 3, and 4. 
Um, and now check this out here, folks. If you lose, you lose your walrus and it's burnt and lost forever. If you win, you become a legend. So this right here, this is where I'm thinking this is with the game. The game has not out yet. Um, but once the game is out, definitely be, be uh, tapping in and checking on the project. Cause I know if I'm reading the discord, I know a lot of people are going to play this game. So you know, a lot of people are going to play this game. I'm thinking a lot of walruses might get burned. Because uh, it is a deflationary walrus project. So yeah, obviously we had, we started off with 8,989. Obviously the struggles will survive. Paper hand people, yikes. Um, so if those paper hands are caught, these walruses are still listed on the secondary marketplace. Guess what happens? These guys go into the infamy of the Hall of Shame, RIP. So they're just, they're gone forever. Never to be seen again. Only you can see them on the Hall of Shame, which is kind of funny. Um, obviously, they want only the strongest, most fearless walrus in the herd. They will be buying back and burning walruses until the 5,000 most committed walrus are left standing triumph. Um, and again, you go check out the Hall of Shame. So you can go see all these different walruses that have been burnt. Like, all that stuff is there. Like I said, it is kind of funny to look at because you're like, man, like, they didn't make it, fam. Like, and what's kind of funny is some of those walruses that you own now become a little bit more uh, rare because of the traits and all that stuff. So, and it'll show you the date when they were burned and all that good stuff. So you can get, uh, get an idea of that. And then also, too, you can check out the, ra the rarity chart, which is good um, to figure out, you know, what type of clothes, you know, items, faces, heads, eyes, all that stuff, jewelry, backgrounds. You'll be able to all uh, check that out to figure out, you know, which one. Maybe you might be keeping your eye out for. Um, but as far as phase two goes here, folks, phase two, uh, that's going to be when the 5,000 is strong. And this is where, quote unquote, they're saying this is where the real fun begins. So if you happen, like I said, if you happen to make it to the uh, phase two of the 5,000 strong, they're going to be, guess what, airdropping you a second, yeah, a second NFT in the Walrus universe. Not entirely sure if the second NFT is going to be uh, NFT for each Walrus you hold in your wallet. Um, that's something I got to definitely check on in the community, in the Discord and stuff like that, figure that all out. But getting your hands on this next spectacular Walrus Companion NFT will be worth reaching this phase alone. And you're going to get more than that. So, obviously, by revealing yourself as a true walrus, you will not have a seat at the main We Are the Walrus table. Um, in phase two, these guys are going to be moving into a walrus dial mode. So, all future decisions about We Are the Walrus will be voted on by the holders, of course. 50% of the royalties will go into the Dreamers Vault. And the community will vote on how to utilize it to bring the best value to the herd. Obviously, these guys are all about full transparency, community focus, building together, and changing the world. Um, now, as far as the team goes, like I said, they got a pretty solid team. Uh, Rigby is the guy that normally kind of leads the AMAs when it comes to the Discord channel. Um, but again, folks, we are the Walrus. You guys had had a chance to check out this project. Like I said, I would highly suggest you guys go ahead and maybe pick you up one. Um, I know right now, you know, at 1.24, some people might be thinking, ah, it's a little expensive. What could it be? Um, well, that's why I always tell people, only invest what you're willing to lose. Um, but yeah, I've been, like I said, I've been with these guys for what, almost, uh, I'll be going, what, three months next month. Um, the transparency side, you know, these guys are, like I said, if you got any questions, um, they're answering all your questions and, you know, they're all about keeping everybody in the community updated on as far as what the team has been working on. I know the development team as of late, um, when I was in there, I think they had caught some COVID. So some things that slowed down, um, but it's funny because I think during that time frame when stuff had slowed down, I think I noticed the prices uh, especially like the floor price and everything was actually a little bit lower 
and then it looks like things have kind of kicked back up because you know when those floor prices are low uh, like i said you know you are battling get some other people uh not just the company as well uh, because they you know, like i said they do come in there and if they see the floor price is kind of low they'll just come come in there and sweep up some walruses uh so that's something that me personally you know i don't have too many uh, I think I have like about six right now. Definitely want to kind of up the ante uh, and get some more. But like I said, I think like a, I think a couple of key giveaway or key takeaways, I should say, uh, from this particular project is the game here, folks. Uh, the We Are the Walrus Legend game. Um, man, I feel like that right there is going to be the key factor on the walruses that you guys are holding right now. If you are holding some. You happen to have diamond hands, it's going to come in handy. Uh, you know, I'm still trying to keep track on what's the official release date going to be for this game. Um, because, again, you only got four legendary walruses out there. Uh, obviously, the value of those, I'm assuming, it's going to be jack shit high. Just, that's just going to, that's just my assumption. Because there's only four. There's only four. And I'm thinking to myself, how many people are going to be playing this game? Because I remember the first AMA I was in, uh, you know, or just, you know, talking to people in the chat. You know, a lot of people are, are geeks for the game. A lot of people want to try to win, you know, the the legend. And which is fine because, you know, some people were talking like how they have a lot in their collection. Which is cool because every time you don't win, that NFT is just burnt. So it's just gone. So I'm not for sure what's the current collection size right now um i do know it did obviously go down thanks to that last event when they had burned some uh nfts for those people that had paper hands there in the hall of shame uh but yeah i think once this game comes out i think that's when things will get really heavy and we're gonna see who's the gamblers because <laughs> you know for me i i might do one but the fact that you could just, like I said, you could lose your walrus and it's burnt forever and it's just gone. You know, that's part of me is like, eh, I don't know if I want to do that. Because, again, the odds of winning, which it's funny because they haven't shown the odds. They said the odds are going to be, you know, to be determined on that one, which is kind of interesting. Um, so I'm curious to see, you know, where actually are the odds favorite. Because, I mean, you know, like I said, this is a gambling thing here. You're taking a huge risk because... Imagine if you're somebody that has, you know, a couple of walruses and you figure, okay, I'm getting five spins for each walrus, but what if you spend all your walruses and now you just, you're, you're stuck, you're left with nothing. I feel like that's going to happen to some people. I don't know. I'm not trying to jinx or be mean or anything like that. I'm just kind of keeping it real. Uh, because, you know, when you have a gambling aspect in something and you got people trying to win these legendary walruses, which there's only four of them here, folks. You only got four, and the community is pretty huge, if I'm not mistaken. I believe the actual uh, We Are the Walrus Discord has about how many members in it? Let me go ahead and bring that up real quick, just so I can kind of give you guys an idea of, you know, chances and stuff like that. So, what? 24,415 members in their Discord. They got about over 10,000 followers on, what, Twitter. 7,000 some change people on Instagram. So, 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 so. We got all that amount of people. And they're all going to swing on over to go ahead and gamble. Like I said, I think the odds might be in our favor if you have diamond hands. Um, because, you know, even if your walrus might not be particularly rare right now. Well, after some of these guys hit the fence, hit the grave. And when you're one of the walruses that has, you know, some of these traits that are still left on the board. Hey, next you know, now your walrus is a little bit more rare. So that's something that you got to keep in mind, too, as well. So, whew. again, folks, appreciate y'all tuning into the podcast, tuning into this episode. That's going to wrap, really wrap it up for the We Are The Walrus Project. Obviously, waiting for... So we are the Legends game. Once that game pops up, y'all definitely will be hearing a little update because, again, once the game comes on, that supply will start to dwindle, dwindle, dwindle. And then from there, it's going to be interesting to see what the floor price is going to be at, too. Uh, so that's something else to keep in mind as well. 
Uh, as Solana has gone up a little bit today here. But I appreciate y'all tuning in, listening, hoping y'all are learning something. Hoping y'all make, like I said, I'm making some money. Trying to get y'all some, you know, some good plays here. Uh, Solana the blockchain is what? Obviously, I'm heavy on Solana and heavy on the blockchain as of late. This is just a lot of projects that are, you know, popping up um, that, you know, could have some good returns in the next couple of months. I mean, if you guys have uh, checked out Turned Up Tiki's, again, that project right there is going to be. I'm going ahead and stamping that as a winner. Probably going to stamp this one as a winner, too, uh, just because, you know, from what I've experienced and everything behind the team and, you know, what the actual project is doing, how the deflationary supply works of the walruses. You know, there's, there's little features here and there that, you know, just that, that work for me. Yeah, I feel like, you know what, let's go ahead. Let's get on in this bad boy. Uh, so shout out to all the people that, you know, if you are listening to this podcast and you guys are walrus holders, arf, arf, to all my walrus holders. Hopefully all y'all got some diamond hands. But until the next time, this is your boy, the host, the Wolf of Crypto, man. Y'all been listening to the Crypto Millionaire Journey. Until next time, y'all, I'm going to get on out of here. Y'all take it easy. Peace out, y'all.